Hey guys, this is Cam for 15 and I'm back at it with another video for you guys. And I'm back with another Black Clover manga chapter review for you guys. And this this battle against freaking Lucifero keeps getting even more dope than it already has been. My goodness, this fight is so damn good. And I'm telling you guys, when the anime comes back for Black Clover and we see all this content getting adapted in the anime, um, I can't wait. I can't wait to see it because... This is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. We got another banger of a chapter here um, continuing on. And <laughs> let's freaking talk about it because I love this series. It's Black Clover right now, if you ask me. It's at the highest peak um, right now we're seeing um, for the series to go. But anyways, let's get to it. This is Black Clover chapter 322 titled Vice Captain of the Black Bulls. So obviously we know last week Austin's kind of... He's kind of just essentially like, oh god, I barely have any energy left, but I still have enough to potentially fight. Um, now that's when we see um, Knox show up, and he says, and he's telling Austin like, dude, what are you doing? You can barely stand. And Austin's like, I can do it. I can be Lucifer and stop him and stuff like that. Now Knox obviously makes a mention like, look, aside from Austin's anti magic, there's nothing we can do. We had we can't attack this guy. We can't kill this guy without his anti magic. Now, um, Knox says, "Listen, dude, not on your own. You can do this. You're gonna need help. We're gonna attack this together and stuff like that." So it also is like, "Okay, yeah, sure." Anyways, we cut back over to the fight with Lucifero fighting against Yuno and um, against Yuna, Yuno and Mary Leona, and they're and they're both moving between you know. The debris in the area and stuff like that um and mary Leona lays down another punch again it doesn't really affect lucifero and you know's making the mention of the fact like none of her attacks are really doing any damage i mean it's not working but he goes to make a mention we take a hit from him we essentially are uh essentially we essentially could be it, it's essentially lethal um stuff like that for us anyways but the thing is, then Yuno says, the only catch is we can still fight and at least put up something against him. We can hold him back for some time being. Now, Lucifero, again, he's still pissed off. He's like, dude, I'm fighting these freaking cockroaches here and trying to kill the freaking kid that can kill me the most. And that's obviously Austin and everything. Because he knows if Austin's not dead, um, he knows there's a chance of um, losing um and that's when he calls out to the other devil and the other devil is Aud uh, audra melch i believe it i believe that's how you say it. audra melch so we get the name cover um na the name confirmation of the other dragon uh, not a dragon other um devil that's been sitting there kind of like just observing the fight like oh that's interesting i like it his name is audra melch so uh audra so lucifer was telling audra melch like can you please, for the love of everybody, just fight these two idiots over here? And Audra Mel's just like, huh? Uh, I'll uh, pass. You, that's that's all you, Lucifero. Yeah, my guy. That's all you. You you handle them all, sure, and everything, and stuff like that. And Lucifero's looking at him like, really, dude? Damn you. Um, and Audra Mel just like, you see, it's kind of more fun to watch you fight Lucifer, and he starts laughing and everything. So clearly, this one de devil is just like literally just an observer. You know, he's not doing anything. He's not getting involved. He doesn't take orders from Lucifer and stuff like that. Um, and he's just kind of there watching to see where this is going. Again, maybe this guy. Again, like I said. Um, Maybe this is like one of the few devils that are actually like chill and says like, listen, as long as you leave me alone, I don't care. Listen, I'm out in the in the in the um, top side. Essentially, I'm out of I'm out from the devil world. I'm here. I don't want to ruin that chance. Listen, I'll leave you alone. I won't do anything. I'll leave you guys alone as long as you leave me alone. But if you have a reason to, you know, attack me, then um, I'm going to get involved. I feel like he's going to come across that type of thing and maybe he'll get off Scott free after this arc is over. He just gives me that impression that this guy won't do anything. He's kind of that devil that will just sit idly by and I'll be like, listen, I'm not going to do anything. I'll live off on my own. I just wanted to be in the surface world. Um, so maybe that's the thing there. We don't know if he's going to make another attack. I don't know. 
Um, so we also this and even Mary Leona brings this up. She's like, it seems like you're not popular with other the other ones, huh? Um, so this also leads to the fact maybe there's not maybe there also is some other devils that are not cool with Lucifero. Maybe there's some other devils that actually, honest to God, despise um Lucifero. Um, and maybe they just don't like him because we know that other devils typically they don't really they they aren't cool with each other. They don't some devils just absolutely just don't like each other, which is in the her complete personality of what a devil would be why would devils interact and like each other? should people they're supposed to be deceptive little trolls essentially anyways Marleyana goes is going in for a punch but she's starting to realize wait a second my flames are disintegrating and my body's breaking up and audra melch is like huh my names were just getting good maybe she got too close um you know to mana and stuff like that and again he says huh humans pathetic uh, pathetic creatures huh and what happens is um essentially what like what happens is lucifer i believe hits her um, and knocks her down and then he goes in for you know you know blocks the attack but he gets sent flying out of nowhere and all of a sudden that's when not comes out and he uses devil union mode canis x equius um and he has the two cerebrus he's chap he's essentially got um lucifero chained and austin the next panel is coming in and he looks like he's about to do the same thing like he did two chapters ago trying to cut off um lucifero's head um and Knox saying like in exchange for my life i'll stop obviously lucifero um and lucifero's like this is pointless dude but now that you're here now i can finally kill you he blows up the move knocked um, did and it looks like he's gonna go in for an attack um to finish Ossoff, but he attacks um Nox. Nox gets in the way, he blocks it, um, and essentially it looks like it could be where Noct is willing to kill him, sacrifice his life, kill himself, I mean everything. Also sees this, he's like, No, Vice Captain Noct. And obviously Noct is like, Well, I guess I hit my limits. I'll see you again soon, my brother. Um and stuff like that there i can be able to apologize and all of a sudden you see a black hole and you're just like oh shit and the chapter ends off with this said character saying we finally meet up again and you pull and you pull um this vice captain don't you dare go dying on me and Right, and what and the last panel of this chapter is Yami getting up, blocking the attack, and apparently he's made a new sword out of like some tree bark. Um, now I don't know if that's from the tree of Quilloth, um, but it's some tree bark that he's probably made. He, he, it's a, it's a tree sword that he made from mana, and he's blocking this. And oh my god, the chapter ends off with Yami back in the fight, man. Let's go, dude. Oh man, this dude, I did not see this coming, bro. I thought Yami was not going to get involved in this fight because he was too weak. But this man, Yami, is getting back up and he's fighting again. And we're back. Oh my goodness. Now we completely have a chance because we know how strong Yami is. Um, especially with his dark magic because he put a because remember he did fight dante and dante at the time was the holder of lucifero's power um now again lucifero at 50 percent power is a lot stronger just 50 percent of his power is a lot stronger than dante was even at 100 percent of his devil um union form um but still yami being here is such a big it, it, and like it's such a big game changer because yami again is one of those characters who can probably hold his own now again it's a turn we don't know it's uh tbd um if he can be able to damage lucifero um but i will say his dark magic stands a good chance um at least holding lucifero off and giving lucifero some problems and again we could potentially maybe we're getting another scene where asta and um yami maybe team up again to take him down again 
craziness craziness i don't know what's gonna happen now i feel a lot more confident now that yami's involved in this that they have a good chance with the other vice captains or with, or with the other captains magic knight squad captains i had no chance yami was truly that one one i'm like he's the only one i could see with his dark magic that could hold lucifer off for a good time and actually have to make lucifer actually work to beat him alongside asta um because of his anti-magic but um yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to be happening going on forward. So, um, Yami is now back in the fight. Man, this chapter was good. Um, and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed this chapter. I can't wait to see what happens next in the storyline. Um, in the grand scheme of things, there's nothing really to analyze and talk about, truly, um, other than what Yami could be doing. Um, again... Like I said, I, I have a feeling Yami's dark magic can definitely help because his dark magic definitely can affect, um, obviously, um, what the devils do. Does this also mean that maybe Vengeance, if Yami can get back up, maybe that means Vengeance can get back up and he can use his world tree magic to freaking heal people? And guess what? We got full freaking arsenal of, you know, magic knights, you know? That's crazy, 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 crazy. But, um,. Anyways, that's it. My thoughts. Um, if you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the comments your thoughts on this week's chapter of Black Clover. There is no break, so we're getting into another chapter next week, chapter 323. Um, as well, anyways, but as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more Black Clover content, um, as well as any other uh, um, content I upload to the channel um, and stuff like that. But other than that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your day or night or this day. Until then, guys, peace.